square of a trinomial. For example, a plus b plus c, that is a trinomial, raised to 2, so we call it square of a trinomial. And to solve for this, you just have to follow these steps. Okay, it's quite long, but it is actually easy to remember because they are just repeating. First, square the first term, then the second term, then the third term. Fourth, multiply first and second term, then times 2. Fifth, multiply first and third term, then times 2. And the last one, multiply second and third term, then times 2. Let's see this in our example. We have 2x plus 3y plus 5. So this is a square of a trinomial. First step, square the first term. The first term is 2x. So when you square this, 2x times 2x. And you will have an answer of 4x squared. Then for the second step, square the second term. So we have 3y. 3y times 3y, it will become positive 9y squared. Third step, square the third term. So we have 5. 5 times 5, that will be 25. Then fourth step, multiply the first and second term. So first and second term, we have 2x and 3y. 2 times 3, that will be 6. Then x and y. Then times 2. So 6xy times 2. 6 times 2, that will be 12. Let's write 12. Then copy the variable xy. Fifth step. Multiply first and third term. First is 2x, third term is 5. 2x times 5, you will have 10x, then times 2. So 10x times 2, it will become 20x. Then for the last step, multiply second and third term. Second term is 3y, third term is 5. 3y times 5, that will be 15y. Then times 2. 15y times 2, that will become 30y. Then observe if you can combine like terms. There are no like terms. So that's it. That will be your answer. Let's try another example. We have 3p plus q minus 7r squared. First step, square the first term. First term is 3p. 3p times 3p, you will have an answer of 9p squared. Then, square the second term. Second term is q. q times q, that will be q squared. Third step, Square the third term. So we have negative 7r. Negative 7 times negative 7, that will be positive 49. Then r times r is r squared. Okay. Fourth step, you have to multiply the first and second term. So 3p times q. Then after that, times 2. So 3 times 2, that will be 6pq. So we'll have positive 6pq. Then, fifth step, multiply first and third term, then times 2. First term is 3p, then third term is negative 7r. 3 times negative 7, that will be negative 21. Copy the variable pr. Then after that, times 2. So 21 times 2, you will have negative 42 pr. And for the last step, multiply second and third term. Second is q, third is negative 7r times 2. So negative 7 times 2, that will be negative 14. Then copy the variable q and r. So we have minus 14 q r. Okay. Combine like terms. There are no like terms again. Then that's it. That will be your final answer.